Valentine's Day today, so for the first time we might go out. Is it gonna be busy or no? Busier than we went last time, but I'm still thinking packed. Should we just take it out and, and Netflix and chill? <laughs> he hates that I use that term. <laughs> It lights up, and I think it's Morse code. Can anyone figure out what, what it's saying? Hmm. This is where we're having our beers. The Pilsner is pretty good. I do like it. It has IPA. It is excellent. Midday promo. 378 garage room. For three hours only. You know what this means, right? Yeah, the garage room packed. is where you, you park your car, close the garage so you don't see the car, and then go upstairs for hanky panky. We have three for hanky panky. <laughs> Okay, the temperature says it's 21 degrees. I'm freezing, it's so cold. Nice Valentine's dinner date. Um, we had burgers and then we had salmon poke bowl. The good. beer was nice. Was Peter was very. The beer was yeah, the best. He loved the beer. I'm. But yeah, overall a nice evening. Now we're walking home. Walk two kilometers to get it's home. Not, it's 1.2 <laughs> kilometers in 10 minutes. Guess where we're going for desserts? It is now 7 30. No, we are going to a shoot for half the day. And then we'll pick up Peter's bike in the afternoon. It's a bit feeling a bit sleepy. Anyway, we're done filming. So we are now in Kartmar. I think it's known for like bike shops and pet store. There's a lot of like pets here. I don't want to go in because I don't want to get depressed by all the caged animals. A lot of bike stuff here as well. Well, he didn't change the whole bike really, some of the parts, but it's bloody expensive. Okay. So we haven't had lunch yet. And guess who I'm calling? Um, the Lawang chicken palabok. Palabok chicken. Spicy, Spicy please. Oh, wala din. Dalong piraso, wala. Peter's Nexus 5X is broken. Okay, can someone suggest a good, a good phone brand that would weather Peter's wear and tear? Basically, Peter is industrial. If you know what I mean. So we're now in Robinson's gallery, yeah. Trying to look for a parking. I specifically told him that it'll be hard to look for a parking here. In the middle of a big fat carnage. <laughs> so update. We're getting out. Note to Peter. Don't ever park in Robinson's gallery. <laughs> it's a f parking lot. Literally, no. Cars are not moving anymore. I will use my phone. Okay, ADB app. Is this, yes, is this, this ADB? Is, yes, this is ADB app. This Are is you Julia sure? Vargas and ADB. So straight on and then left? I don't know if you can turn left there. Yeah, yeah I know. But then when I came out, you couldn't direct me to things. Because I, it's going crazy, Peter. Okay, well. So we just finished um, doing one errand, which is dropping off Peter's phone. Peter had his ACR card, like changed the address. It's been three weeks, he still doesn't have it. And we're leaving the country, so what they suggested is him apply for a waiver so he can leave the country. And guess what? You have to pay for the waiver. <coughs> this fucking doesn't sell. 
road. These cars are parked here because it's next to a school. Yep. It's not just a school, it's a rich private school. Le Medfit. Oh, okay. Ah, do you know who, where he's from? Blumenthal is like a South African name. Okay. Frog. September 2020. Lecturer and author of articles and books in the Philippines and its ethnography. He wrote extensively about the Philippines, although he never visited the islands. What? After an hour, after an hour of driving, hacking through Manila, we are now in Bureau of Immigration behind us. And guess how long it took Peter to t pick up his shit, his paper? Five minutes, and then we're done. So now we're driving back. My gosh. So stressful. You're in traffic for so long, and then by the time you arrive where you're supposed to get your shit, it's done in 10 minutes. Like, it's so not worth it. I wouldn't want to stay another hour in Bureau of Immigration, so five minutes is fine. We're driving back. So we've just been ripped off the parking. It's supposed to be 30 pesos. The paper says 30 pesos. Like, he kept on insisting 50 pesos. I could have given him 30 pesos, save 20, but he could basically scratch your car, pee on your car, and do whatever to your car. So might as well pay 50 and just get it over with. It's just it's annoying. It's annoying. But what can you do? My ways is shitty, so. Also have the fancy Catupinero guards. So if you are ever in Manila, come to Intramuros. You'll see calesas, horse-drawn carriage. You have like nice Spanish houses, cobbled streets. Cobbled streets. On your right side, San Agustin Church. So we got lost a little bit. <laughs> To the right is Rizal Park. Can you see Rizal? Where's Rizal? No. I like this bridge. It's very industrial. Back home after five hours of sitting in a car. It's very stressful. There's, I'm sorry if it's all rant and bad words because there's nothing pleasant about driving in Manila. Gonna end the vlog here and we're going back to Subic tomorrow and then we're going to Australia! Bye!